I want us to help those investors in terms of what they can financially do to assess where they are to best some of the tough decisions that they may have to make. I mean, I know with some of the investors, you're having to decide whether to sell or not to sell. So from a practical perspective, uh, in terms of, you know, um, investors who are in a financially difficult position, how should they be looking at their finances and how to best overcome uh, the economic hardships of the pandemic? Okay, so... With that said, the the thing that you need to do is to go back to basics, go back to the drawing board, right? Look at the numbers and put emotions aside and just use the mind. That's what I always say. Think, use your mind to think rather than using your heart. So like you said, if you're going through financial difficulties, the first thing you need to understand or you need to do is ask yourself the question, who is my creditor? So the bank or whoever that has lent you the money to be able to, uh, what do you call, be the, uh, the position that you're in is the person you need to start the conversation with. But to start the conversation with, you need to look at the numbers. Draw up and say, how do I get my way? So, for example, during the pandemic, I remember we, we got a break from the banks. The banks were giving three-month holidays and the rest. But uh, again, it goes back to the attitude again. So if we were not consistently servicing our bond, we were not going to have that opportunity. So some tenants were not paying for sure. But the bank comes and says, listen, Mr. X, you've been paying for so long. And because that you don't owe anything to us and we understand where this pandemic is, we're going to give you a three month grace. And those are the things that you need to talk to. And if you didn't qualify, you still need to talk to your bank. You still need to you don't need to shy away from the situation that you're in, you can only go back as a prodigal son to the person that's giving you that money and says, I cannot pay. And this is, and don't just say, I cannot pay, I give up. I cannot pay. These are my numbers. And this is the proposition I put forward. This is the proposal that I propose that we can, uh, uh, alongside, get through. And, and, you know, I think one of the big things that I certainly want to get a, a bit of perspective from your side on, especially for struggling uh, investors right now, is at which point do you then decide that, you know what, this isn't quite working, let me offload whether it's one property or two properties from the portfolio? Um, at which point should we uh, be having that conversation with ourselves? At the point that you know that you're going to drown and ego doesn't play a part, that is the point that you need to, you know that there's nothing. You've worked out your numbers, you've worked it out, and you can't come out. Like, there's no ways for you to service this bond. And sometimes letting go of what is called a baggage is actually probably a, a way to propel you forward, maybe even 10 times forward. So that again is that conversation. If you cannot service something and it's just going to end up messing up your, your credit record, then you need to start having that conversation with the bank or the lender. They are very helpful to help you to sell, actually. They can take the deal and give it to estate agents, agents out there to help you find a buyer as quickly. And when you go to the lender, actually what happens is that you get a discount. So lender will say to you, listen, if I sell this property, I know that the market is hard because I know this because in my group, in the mastermind group that I'm in, some of our investors had to do that. And the lender says, listen, we will sell the property value is at 1 million, for example. We're not going to get 1 million in the market. But if you sell it through us, we're going to sell it at 800,000 rent, and then we'll give you another 80% discount on the, on the 200 that you owe us. So eventually you only pay us 40,000 40, rent over time. And if you arrange properly with them, that 40,000 rent will be paid over five years. So you still have that, you know, that relief on your neck. And at the same time, if you do that properly with the lender, you are not going to be blacklisted. Because remember, the only way that's going to show is you defaulting. Now, if a lender has taken off that property away from you, giving you a discount and brought it down from a 20,000 rent or 10,000 rent to 1,000 rent a month, you are actually in a good position. 
So when the market turns or when your numbers make sense again and you can breathe properly, you can go back to the same guy and they will, they will gladly help you.